are there aspects or which aspects of dementia knowledge or awareness do you feel as though that the general public um, does not get or has not received information on? Is there something that you may feel as though is more glaring or more apparent that people have a lack of knowledge on? Well, I, I, I mean, uh, we could spend hours talking about this particular topic, but it, but I would say there are two there are two fundamental things that I think are really important to get across, and that the lay public, and unfortunately, I think in many cases, the the medical profession is not fully aware of. One is that diseases like Alzheimer's disease are not inevitable with age. So age itself doesn't cause a memory disorder, right? Something is causing the memory disorder, but age is the greatest risk factor, right? So people who are old, who have memory problems, don't have memory problems because they're old. They have memory problems because there's something causing their memory problems. Could be Alzheimer's, it could be a stroke, it could be a head injury, could be a lot of things but it's not age, but age is the greatest risk factor. So I think the first part is the sort of this, the disentanglement of what's age and what's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the first part. And the second part is what I drove home before is that while age is a great risk factor and we say, you know, at age 85, you know, there's roughly a 40% risk of Alzheimer's disease, right? That means four in 10 people age 85 have Alzheimer's disease. But that also means that six in 10 people age 85 do not, right? And again, that gets to the point is there are things that we can do to build a better brain as we age, right? And so thinking about these resilience and vulnerability factors are, are really, really critical. So again, I think the two most important take home messages that people just aren't aware of is that this is not inevitable with age. And there are a lot of things that we control as we age that probably factor into that inevitability, right? Which is why some people get disease and some people don't. Um, and it's not genetics. You know, there's these, there's these other things that we have control over. So if we can control 40% of the things, we should worry about those. But the 60% of things we can't control, we shouldn't worry about those. Those exist, we can't change those. And, and I, I'm gonna repeat myself on purpose here. You know, it's never too early, it's never too late, but it's probably better to be too early than to be too late. 